all right so i'm going to call it the end of the season about right now um we'll have a few uh hit and miss snowstorms in the end of march uh, maybe april but for now i'm calling it a season i want to show you guys how the boss plow did it's out of warranty now it's been two years um, so after this season i'm all on my own um, i'm curious to see how it'll handle um, over not being under warranty but um, just wanted to give you guys an update so we got 1308.1 miles on it a lot of you guys like to know the hours uh, engine hours are 188.2 um, so right off the bat what issues have i had with the plow so far all my issues have really been with the control box up here um, they're not major issues but they are things that slow you down during the, the day when it happens uh, more and more towards the end of the season my um, controller is being stuck in the up position when I'm plowing and I can hear the motor running because there's a bypass um, with the hydraulics and I'm kind of worried over time that I'm um, doing a toll on the motor um, so I don't know if it needs to re grease in there or something but um, every now and then it's getting stuck more and more in the up position um, not the float mode not the center but in the up position um, and then the issue I've had last year and this year as well every now and then when it's when I'm plowing pretty good speed um, the snow is coming over and hits the box and the temperature is probably just right um, I think I have snow getting into this top um, controller again um, I can go in but I can't go out it's like a dead switch I'll put the video up here <laughs> Um, so as you can see, I can go in, but I can't go out. Um, but then I wiggled the, this up and down um, during the season, and it fixed the problem. So I'm not sure what was happening inside the box. I don't want to take it off because I want to get my final warranty, you know, look at it, um, see what's happening. Um, I wish they'd probably maybe send me another box. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with the controls layout and where it's at. I think they did a really good job. Um, one last thing I think they could do with, with the box, if you're not wearing gloves... Um, then this point right here, these get pretty sharp. And if you're barehanding, you know, you're probably not going to be barehanding, um, you know, while it's snowing, but that could really, um, eat at your hand a little bit, but I think it's, it does the job. It gives you good grip. Um, but I think they could have rounded those out a little bit better. So enough with the box. Um, I love the box. It's great. Um, they also make a controller for the, like the UTVs, just a little different. Um, I, I like the box for that. Um. As for the plow itself, no issues. Um, only issue I might have seen is a hydraulic box. Um, I haven't lost any fluid except for some residual that comes and collects on the bottom side um, of it and kind of drains down. And But I haven't seen anything with the connectors up top. I haven't seen any hose leakages. I mean, pretty spot on and doing really, really well. Um, and as for the electric, same thing. Real clean, um, doing a great job. And the motor is doing phenomenal. So, uh, hopefully, get some fresh hydraulic fluid in it. Um, when it comes to the the frame mount, everything looks really solid. So, try to give you guys a good view. So, two years. I would call that normal wear and tear. Holes are looking good. Frame is looking excellent. No issues with the frame. I don't see any bending nothing um so when they put this plow on it they connected it really well did a really great job and i'll put hcl equipment out in belgrade montana their information somewhere below or on the screen i'm really happy with what they did what they got me um the deal they gave me and uh always happy to do business with them and very pleased with how they set this machine up and the, out, uh, the results i've had with it and the money i made from it so taking a quick look on the uh the back side a little bit um, center spindle did great, no issues with that, no cracking, nothing like that. Um, you can see just the rub points just from coming back and forth. Um, it's not going really too far in at all, uh, more just paint and a little bit of rust. Um, try to get a couple angles for you guys, Make, hopefully it doesn't fall on me or anything. Alright, so here's just a quick look at the bottom a little bit. Um, hopefully it's not too shaky or out of focus. Very pleased with it, it's holding up great. Um, just paint here and there, not too much, so. Alright, so the springs inside here are doing great, I haven't broke any of them, um, no issues, I mean snow does get in there, water, but 
I don't trip this plow a lot. It actually takes quite a bit to trip this plow. Um, look at the left side here. Again, just normal wear and tear. Everything looks really good. Uh, hydraulics look really good. Uh, no major leaks. And very pleased with it. This plow will definitely pay itself off if you're willing to put the work in and take care of your equipment. Um, so that's the biggest thing with this plow and any equipment and plow in general. If you take care of it, it'll take care of you. Um, if you trash your machine, don't take care of it, it's gonna have problems and issues. And I've taken care of my machine, I have tested it, I've pushed it, I haven't pushed it past its limits, um, but I have pushed it and I'm very, very pleased with this plow, so. Um, one more thing that I think I know Boss needs to come out with, you gotta give us some extension wings on this. Um, I don't care if they're just, just, just something. You know, give us more, just a little bit more um, than the five, six. Just give us a little bit more to work with on those days that aren't deep, but we wanna move more snow. Like, I would love to do this. I can only do so much with it, but having some plows on the, on the sides, I can just get more of it. So the machine, the machine, no issues with the machine. Um, my shock upgrade, uh, the high lifter springs are doing great. They are definitely getting a little bit more uh, worn in, a little more squishy, um, but they're doing a great job. Um, as for any spring that's gonna happen over time, uh, Polaris accessories issues. These puppies just pull right off now. Um, I don't know if it's dirt or what, but I'm probably gonna end up just bolting those down through the um, through the plastic, and uh, they just don't hold like they used to. They, I mean, this is my second set, and they're just not the same. So, uh, if you guys have any questions about the machine, about anything, uh, feel free to hit below. I'll be happy to answer, and hopefully, this guy helps you out with uh, what you can expect if you take care of your equipment for the two-year boss warranty um, for this plow. So. Any questions, hit below. Thanks for watching.